Hey guys, Tix are here with a brand new video. Here again on GTA 5 on PC with a showcase of uh, some DLC cars. Not DLC cars, some add on cars I've added to the game that are real. And well, this is, this is all, the, all the cars I've added to GTA so far. So I hope you enjoy and let's get started. Trevor, what are you doing? First car is the regular Pagani Wira. Very nice car. It's a hypercar, you could say. Um, look at those details in the back there. There's, is that part of the exhaust? I'm guessing that's part of the exhaust. Um, that's pretty cool. Next to that is the Wira BC. With the same back end, of course. With the, with the biggest spoiler in the back. The Wira BC has like 10. It's more improved, more horsepower than all Wira. It's faster. I think 0 to 60 is quicker. And it's like less less numbers of the car than that which is pretty interesting next to that is the Zonda Pagani Zonda Cinque Roadster that's a rare car that really is a rare car it's pretty awesome I saw a video actually that someone liked it with the the fact it's, it's a Roadster and um the what if is that the Aaron Aaron I don't know the scoop on the back there um again it's four exhausts Pretty awesome. Uh, next to that is the Ford GT, the brand new one. Oh, it's an amazing car. I recently actually, quite cool actually, I recently got a Hot Wheels car of it in the post. So that's pretty awesome. I'm, I like that car as well. It's a pretty awesome car. Next to the Ford GT is the BMW i8. Um, recently added Horizon 3, start of this month, because it was really highly requested. And it, it's it's a nice car to drive, some people don't like it, but I personally like it. I I just saw one a few weeks back before the update the DLC came out, the Horizon 3. Drives to my town, which is pretty awesome. Where I live, there's not many nice cars at all. Um so it's nice to see rare cars. Rare cars nice nice cars often. Next to that is the 458 Speciale. Um I think that's just the Aper is that the Aperta? Or that just, I think it's just Speciale. Um Another awesome car. I don't know what else to say to that. It's, you know, it's outdated now because of the the 48 over here. Uh, next to the, that, anyway, next to the Speciale is the Carrera GT, the car that people seem to blame Paul Walker's death on. But I'm saying nothing to that. I just what I've, I've heard. I, it's it's a cool car. Porsche. Um, it's an interesting car actually to have back. Have them um, in the game, and rumored that it's good. Um, who Porsche Pack will be in Horizon 3. This is one of the cars, so that's pretty cool. Next to that is the Reventon Lamborghini Reventon in Horizon 3 as well. Um, oh, I don't know, right. Pretty awesome. I like the, the fact that there's a big fans. I like the fans. I'm guessing they spin it, shouldn't be enough. Um, V12 Monster, really rare as well. Next to that is. One of my favourite cars. Oh, the Ventador SV. Wow, what a car. Oh, Lamborghini Aventador LP754 SV. It's a long name, but hey, it's awesome. Those rims, though, are sick. They're really cool. Atomic, that's really cool. Um, let's go across the car park to the Porsche Cayenne. I think it's just the Cayenne. Oh, it was Cayenne Turbo S. That is, that's a really cool car. There is only, they're only adding the Cayenne to the uh, Horizon 3 in the car pack, or uh, Porsche pack. So that's annoying. Not this one. I wish it was this one. But hey. Uh, next to that is the S Last AMG, a car I love. I did love. It's. I still like it. Yeah, don't get me wrong. But I much prefer the AMG GTS. Or GTR. Or GTC. Whatever. <laughs> the AMG GT, anyway. The three or four variants. There's now the re. Um, they facelifted the car, actually, again. And it's got the same um, front as the GTR, which is thick. So cool. Next to that, I, as I mentioned, the Ferrari 488 Spider. What a car. Another car. I do like the 488. It's not a favourite car, but it's awesome. Next to that, the 488 is the 458. The replacement, the not. The older car of the 488, which the real 488 replaced. Um, the Enzo is now for next after that. It's a pretty a cool car named after Enzo Ferrari, the designer of all the Ferraris. Ignore the spoiler, it's just the mod. Um, you can modify it to look like that, it's a bit odd, but whatever. Next to the 
Enzo is the Chevrolet Corvette Z06. What a car. Like. Oh, excuse me. I cut that out. Or maybe not. I don't know. Yawning. Sod it. <laughs> Busy day. Um, Z06. Awesome car. Awesome, awesome, awesome car. And the next to that is the absolute beast. There's 1800, I think it is. 1800 horsepower. Kongseg Regera. It's a hybrid, which is crazy, but it's got a V8. And it, yeah. But a lot of people think, though, for example, that's the exhaust. Actually, these are the exhaust. Because I think that's just an air intake or air output system. I can't remember. But it's even on the livery in the car, whoever made the put in, bring the model to the, brought the model to the game for GTA, they decided to add Martini um, livery to it. Doesn't look too bad though, but it looks better on a Porsche, I say. So let's I'll jump I'll jump cut here and you'll see the next ba batch of cars. And so on to part two with more cars. I shall start on the my left side with the Porsche. Um, is it 718 Boxster or Boxster 718? Well, either or. I think it's. I know it's a Boxster of some sort. Check on the back actually. Oh, 718 Boxster X. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what is the point. I don't know what 718 means. So. I'm just going to take a random guess. I'm guessing it's special edition. I don't know. Um, so yeah. If you know what the car is, you know more about it. Let me know in the comments down below. That'd be handy, please. Uh, next to the Boxster is the Panamera 4S. I think it's 4S. Yeah, right. <laughs> cool. Um, it's the, the new styled one. Much nicer than the previous Panamera models. Uh, makes models, yeah, models. Make is the Porsche. My bad. Um, another awesome car. I do like that. It, it, shame it's not coming in Horizon Three though. So yeah. Uh, next to the Panamera is one of my favourite cars, but the convertible. I like the the coupe version of it. Is the 911 Turbo S. I would love that car, but it's expensive. I can think about it. Um, very very nice car. Next to that is the Bugatti Veyron. I don't know what to say about it. I'm not a fan of it. No, to be honest. Like, it is still an awesome looking car. But I don't like it. I much prefer an upcoming car that is I've added to the game. You'll see it in the next part. Um, next to the Bugatti is the 509 GTO. Ferrari 509 GTO that is. Awesome car. It, it's, it still looks amazing even though it's like 2008 I think I'm not sure don't quote me on that but I think it's that um next to that is there's two Mercedes the one on my the one to my left uh, next to the Ferrari is the CLS 2015 I think or is that the 63 they both say 63 inside I know that on the back then yeah MG MG but I think this is the the new one, and that's the C63. That's, yeah, I think that's right. That's the new one, and that's the older version. Next to the B Mercedes is the Bentley Continental GT, the 20 2012 one. The brand new one from this year looks amazing. It looks so nice. They finally changed it, but it looks much better. It's, I mean, just the styling, it still looks Bentley ish. So that's quite cool to see that they've done that. Next to the Bentley is the Ford GT. The one you saw in the video with the the body kit, it's not the body, the, modi the modifying, the modifying the four, so the normal one, the GT fifty R, and the region mo mo the region works motorsport. That's what I meant to say. My bad. And the what's that one? Was it RTR kit? Wasn't it? I think it was. Yes. Uh, let's go across to the other side of the car park. Not the side. You know, across the road is the GTA Spano uh, 2016 model, the one that the Vanderton Racing 3. But it's interesting car actually, it, it's quick. I know it's quick, I've seen it in Horizon 3, I've driven it, it's nice. Um, I don't know what to say about it, but it's pretty awesome. The wheels are pretty cool. The spoiler goes up quite a bit and it's a massive, massive air brake. 
The rear is quite an interesting shape, but it's different, I suppose. Uh, next to the GTA is a legend, uh, Nissan GTR, Nismo, and it's the, the new model GTR, the facelifted one. I think it's a it's it's a looker, it's amazing. Wow, another one of my favourite cars is the RS6. The RS6 is a beast. I've sat in one and it's comfy as aff. It's comfy as AF. Oh wow, Whew, so nice. The one I sat in was grey though, not red. Um, another, another, another one, like the Porsche box over there, is the Porsche Cayman 718. 718 Cayman S. Oh, Jesus. Um, it looks really similar actually. I think, personally, I think the Boxster pretty much is the Cayman. I'm not sure, I could, I could be wrong, because they haven't done a Cayman Roadster, so the Boxster pretty much is a Cayman. I don't know, it's what it seems like. If you compare the two next to each other, very similar cars. Next to the Cayman is the Konigsegg, even on the scratches, uh, the Konigsegg Aguirre um, R, I think it's the R. Yeah, I think it's the R. Excuse me. Your number two, I'm, I apologise. Next to that, the Konigsegg is the Lexus LFA Nürburgring package. Whoa, it's pretty cool. I would love that in Horizon 3 if you could add the boys to boiler to the car. People might dislike it, but I think it's pretty cool. The fact is the Lexus have made a Nürburgring package for the LFA. So it makes it probably quicker, if that, no more powerful, I don't know. What it is, what it's got a V10, so I don't know how powerful that is. Next to the Lexus is the Ferrari 4 F Air 430 Scuderia. That thing is cool. Like it's yes, it's old. Two two thousand. I don't know when it's from. Two early two thousands. Like no, because it wouldn't be twenty tens. I think it's two thousand eight as well. It can't be. No, it was before the four five eight, wasn't it? Yeah. So it was that. It was four five eight. It was after that. So that's pretty cool. Next to the four four F four thirty. I'm gonna say four five eight again. Is the M5? I can't remember what it is. Um, let me check. The E60 M5. So the older M5. I'd much prefer the new one, but the M5 is still really cool. Next to that is the BMW M4. That's amazing. It's such a cool car. It's um, weird, weird handling model in the game, but in GTA level. But it's a cool car nonetheless. Um, next to the M4 is another of my favourite cars, as I mentioned previously, here's the MG GTA, uh, GT, it's GTA, I think this is the GTA, I don't know, it doesn't take back, um, so that is awesome, the brand new one though, as I said, does have the front of the MG GTR, so that's pretty cool, um, so that's all these cars done, let's move on to the third part. Okay, and then on to part three, or is this three? No, this is part three, that's right. So, back in the first person, let's start with the McLaren 688 HS. It's an MSO special edition car, quite rare. I know Ignor does say 75, 675 on the side, but that's wrong. Um, next to that is the 625C Spider, I think. It could just be a 650S spider, I'm not sure. Uh, next to that is the 650S again. I don't know why. But hey. Right, that's fine. Oh, I should do that. I don't mean that. It's alright. Pounds. Oh god. No, it's fine. Again. Um, next to that is the 12C GT3 body kit kind of, I don't know, ish, I'm guessing. Uh, next to that is the Maserati MC12. Oh, awesome car. Used to be one of my favourites. It still is awesome. Don't like it much nowadays. There are better cars, as you can see from this video. Um, next to that is 570S. I love this car. I love the Final Games. Next to that is another Porsche, and so many Porsches in my DLC car, add-on car. Um, it's the 911R, 
pretty cool car. Pretty sick. I do love it. Next to that is the Bugatti Chiron. This is the one I love. It looks so much better than Veyron. Uh, next to the Chiron is the LaFerrari. This is finally an add-on car. I don't need to replace the Turismo R with it anymore, so it's, it's quite good. Uh, next to the LaFerrari, which I also, by the way, I also got a Hot Wheels car of this. Um, so that's cool. Next to the LaFerrari is the 918 Spider. I have a Hot Wheels car of it, but it has the exhaust down there, so I'm guessing that is the special edition Wysak Passage. Wysak Passage Package 918? I'm not sure. Next to the 918 is a car I love. It's the McLaren P1. Pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing what car they replace, what car will be the next um, hyper stupid fast McLaren. Who knows? We'll see. There is a code for it, uh, a code name for it, but I can't remember what it's called. Um, but it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, across from that is the Audi R8 the V10 Plus, the brand new Audi R8. Awesome car again. I do like the Audi R8. A lot of people seem to be running with their dogs in the background, but whatever. Next to that, the Lamborghini Huracan, the LP610. Ignore all the textures and stuff in the ground. In the background, it's just the. Um, these cars are high, really high resolution models compared to the ones in game, so it's causing that to happen. But whatever. Next to the Huracan is the Centenario. Um, another rare car. Um, all of them sold out, even the Roadsters, which is insane. Based on the Ventador. But lighter, I think. Lighter, more powerful, and top speed is exactly the same, so it doesn't matter. Next to that is the 6075 LT. This is the one. This is the car. I love the 6075 LT. I might do a video in this car and a quick test drive, can that kind of thing. Um, so if you want to know, if you want to see that, comment down below. Uh, let me know in the description, in the, description the comments, my bad. Um, next to the 600 LT is another track kind of base car, the 911 GT RS. When I first saw this in person in August 2016, I was like, I was gobsmacked. It's gorgeous. It's so nice. Yeah, it is. It is got a body, uh, not body kit, got a rock cage in the back. But it, it's like it's. I'm sure it's a proper driver's car. That is so cool. Next to that is the 650S, and then next to that is the Liberty Walk 650S, the 650S, Liberty Walk, Spider. They're quite cool cars, but I don't like Liberty Walk body kits too much. Not a fan of it. Uh, next to that is the 570GT, another cool car. Next to the 570GT, the McLaren P1 GTR. Uh, I was gobsmacked again when I saw the P1 GTR and the P1. Those two are amazing. They are fabulous cars. It looks it looks insane. A thousand odd horsepower, 0 16 less than three seconds. I can't remember exact exact numbers, but it's quick. Awesome awesome car again. And then next to that, the six fifth six, not in my six. The MP4 12C or 12C for short, Spider. It's pretty interesting. If you want to give me to show you how to add on add on cars, I'll do a quick video on that some point not sure when but for now i hope you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe and see more gta videos forza videos um i'm still working on my another car video at the moment horizon 3 um which is not the sound of cars because from all the feedback and stuff i got in the previous video be quite helpful so i appreciate all the feedback for that um and just everything in general it's it's good to see I'm, I'm glad to see feedback and gaining i'm gaining subscribers no, i'm getting closer to four or five hundred uh 424 at the moment i'm sitting at so that's it's i'm, I'm, I'm staggered because people are subscribing it, it's getting me closer to that that goal of 500 and then eventually a thousand it's insane so i want to appreciate i want to thank you so much for that Again, um, links to Twitter and Facebook are always in the description down below. And I said, as I, as I said again, be sure to subscribe to see more. I shall see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.